Hey friends, tonight I am hanging out at Disney's Magic Kingdom. It has been a very hot week here in Orlando, so I decided to come out to the park a little bit later in the afternoon just as a way to keep cool. But also, I wanted to ride some rides, eat some food, and even listen to some of the music right here at the Magic Kingdom. So, let's go do this. I'm really noticing a lot of changes to Cinderella Castle getting ready for the 50th anniversary. I am so excited for the 50th anniversary. And I also noticed a lot more people are actually visiting now. I feel like uh, we're rolling into the summer crowds. It's June now, but I think it's only gonna get busier once July comes around the corner. I'm super excited to check the wait times and ride some rides tonight and also to get something to eat. I feel like I haven't been at the Magic Kingdom for a sunset in a while. Usually I'm coming during the day and I'm usually home and editing and just relaxing and hanging out with Gracie. But today it's already, I think it's 6.30? Yeah, 6.30. I, I feel like I'm really late today. The park closes at 9. I noticed they started selling Spider-Man bubble wands here. That seems a little funny. I've never seen them before. I can see that they'd be popular right now over in California because of the Avengers campus, but not really here in the Magic Kingdom. Walking around, listening to that music, it feels so great to be here right now. I love, 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 love coming to the Magic Kingdom. It always puts me in great spirits. On my way over to our first attraction, I want to show you one of my favorite places to kind of like duck out of the way, especially if you want to sit down and eat something. And it's right here by the ye old Christmas shop. You see how this they have this like courtyard and inside they have a sleigh. And the sleigh is a really cool photo opportunity, but behind the sleigh there's a nice little cozy table that a lot of people don't even see. But I'm gonna show you guys so you can see if it's ever open. You can come back here and just Sit down and people watch. Now I'm kind of regretting not having a coffee or something to drink because I'm actually enjoying sitting over here. I wish I had something to just like kind of relax with. It's beautiful and you get to people watch and just enjoy. It would be a great spot if there was a parade happening too. Like I said, you're really hidden over here. A lot of people don't even know because it has all this empty space and the table is behind the sleigh. I think I'll head right on over to the Haunted Mansion, check on the wait time. If it's not a long wait, maybe we'll take a ride. I mean, you can never turn down a Haunted Mansion ride. Looks like Disney is definitely pulling a fast one on us. Says 20 minutes, but it looks like it's a walk on. Oh, I gotta put my mask on. Sorry. <laughs> I always forget to put my mask on before I actually approach a queue because I think that it's outside and I have to go into a building to put the mask on. But even if the queue's outside, you gotta wear the mask. Hopefully not for too long though. But this is really awesome. Like I said, walking on to the Haunted Mansion, <laughs> it's 6.30 in the afternoon. Like I would normally think that it would be super, super busy. But no, this isn't 20 minutes. This is like literally a walk-on. It is a 100% walk-on. So fancy. Awesome. There was nobody waiting to ride the Haunted Mansion. Now I kind of want to check the wait times for the other rides, especially like Seven Doors Mine Train and Space Mountain and see what those wait times are. Was that a fluke? Like the Haunted Mansion just being completely empty or is it really just a low crowded day? Looks like Seven Doors Mine Train is only a 45 minute wait. Still a little bit long because I uh, only have two hours in the park. But I feel like maybe it's a fluke. Like, you know what I mean? Like just, I got lucky going on Haunted Mansion because 45 minutes is probably like kind of like familiar or similar to what the line has been for a while now. 
and uh, I think I'm gonna grab something to snack and maybe a drink to cool down a little bit. I have not been to the Starlight Cafe in a while, and I wouldn't mind seeing Sunny Eclipse for a little bit, so maybe we'll browse and see what they got going on in there. I haven't been in here for a while, but how many of you guys missed the topping bar over here? I remember they used to have the little fried onions and the cheese sauce. I wasn't a big fan of the cheese sauce, but I would get a burger and tons of those fried onions. It was like a side, and wow. <laughs> This seems so awesome to be in here. I don't think I'm gonna be getting like an actual meal from here. I think I'm just gonna get a dessert and maybe a drink. But they do sell hot dogs, hamburgers, spicy chicken sandwiches. The hot dogs are really big hot dogs, kind of like Casey's hot dogs. But I don't think they're really, really Casey hot dogs. What I decided to get was the cherry sour cattail and the strawberry lemonade, the frozen one. They both look good. This is kind of like a traditional dessert that they always had here, like a snack. I don't think I've ever had it before. And normally, I think they sell it over here at the cherry sour cafe. But I think because that's closed, they started selling it here in Cosmic Rays. And uh, yeah, I thought it was time to try it. Maybe I have had one and I don't remember, but. I don't know. I guess if I did have one, it wasn't that memorable, so it wasn't good. So I'll find out once I do bite into it. Mm. Oh, it's actually very delicious. A little bit sweet, but it's like a chocolate croissant. A, a warm chocolate croissant with icing drizzled on it. I like it. Very delicious, actually. But this right here... This really hits the spot. So cool and refreshing. Oh my lord. On a hot day, you can't go wrong with this. Oh. <laughs> this is something you need. When you're in a hot day like today, a nice cold slushy is the way to go. You know what I really miss? I miss the one that they did sell at Casey's. It was like a mint lemonade one. That one was so much better. But this will do the trick. This will do the job. I always have a hard time saying, Cheshire cat like I want to say Cheshire 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 it's a, it's a speech impediment that I have so when I read it but it's Cheshire Ches see it's so hard you ever have words like that you can't like I mean I know how it sounds but for some reason I'd like say it like seven different ways I don't know why, but anywho, I think we're gonna move along, maybe head on over to Tomorrowland. Well, basically we are in Tomorrowland, but I wanna ride the people mover. I wanna kinda time it right, so that when I hop on the people mover, as we hit that turn where you can see Cinderella Castle, the sunset would be just happening. I mean, I'm sure I can't get it at the perfect time, and it's only like 10 seconds worth of footage, but I bet you it'll be pretty, so maybe we'll just give it a couple minutes, or we'll see what the line's like, because maybe that'll be enough time to actually let the sun go down a little bit. It actually looks like there's no wait for the people mover. So uh, I don't know if the timing's right. I think it is uh, 7.30 and the sun is set to set at eight o'clock. So it gives us a half an hour. I don't know, maybe we'll just wait a couple minutes and then we're gonna board the people mover. I was seriously thinking by the time I came over here that there might be like a 10, 15 minute wait, but literally we're just walking right on. Wow. And also, Buzz Lightyear is a walk-on, too. So Tomorrowland is just really a good spot. So I, maybe all the wait times are low, except for Seven Doors Mine Train. That would make perfect sense. Look at that. Just walk right on in to Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. Maybe we'll do that afterwards. Now I'm thinking maybe I should just ride Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin, so then when the time I get off, it'll be a lot closer to sunset. And since it's a walk-on, we'll probably definitely be out in time. Can you imagine if we get off the ride though, and there's a long wait for the people mover, and we miss the sunset? I hope that doesn't happen. But if it does, oh well, it was probably beautiful. Get that top of the volcano. Vision. Them and little green friends too. Ooh, I'm really glowing in the black lights here. Uh-oh, we're going into the dark tunnel. We're going into the dark tunnel now. <laughs> Time to get Zerg. Oh boy, watch out for the flashing lights. Anybody else notice Buzz is hitting Zerg with his laser blaster right here? 
He's got a direct hit right there. You see the red light on his chest? I'll be back. That was a lot of fun. I didn't get Galactic Hero this time because I was too busy like riding the ride and like just paying attention to the ride itself. You ever just ride it for the ride and not play the game? It's really fun seeing all the different aliens and Buzz Lightyear and the lights and spinning round and round and round. Anywho, I think we're gonna head over to People Mover now. We definitely killed about 15, 20 minutes there. So uh, maybe it's time for a sunset or at least close to a sunset. Oh, it doesn't look like there's still a long line. I mean, it was a little bit shorter before, but this is probably just like five, 10 minutes maybe at most. It might not be like a really, really low sunset, but it's gonna be beautiful. I got a good feeling about this. You can kind of see it a little bit. Oh yeah, that nice cotton candy sky and orange cones on a people mover. Tomorrow, Land Transit Authority People Mover. You're quiet and carefree, high way in the sky. We invite you to sit back, relax. So we're gonna get two shots at this. This one first coming up right now, and then on the other side. Let's see how this bad boy looks. Oh yes. That is beautiful, isn't it? that plot and planning for 10 seconds worth of footage. But like I said, there's still another shot with the castle, so it's only gonna be better. It's just so beautiful at night though, isn't it? Look at this. Hi friends. Mover is the perfect ride for people watching. Oh, there it is. This is on its lap thither after at Monsters Incorporated. So drop in and join Mike Wazowski and all his pals at Monsters Incorporated Laugh Share the fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Keep it moving. We're on a tight schedule here. That was totally worth it. So beautiful, right? Wow. You know, I didn't even think about that until I actually came up with the idea of going on the People Mover today. But now I kind of want to make it a tradition to come and watch the sunset on the People Mover. Too bad it wasn't like the old days where you can just round and go round and round and round. I mean, technically there's nobody waiting, so maybe they'll let me go again. Well, oh, wow. Seriously, look at how beautiful that is. <laughs> I don't want to get out. Can I go around again? Oh my lord, I love you! Seriously! Really? Oh, wow! What a miracle! Yeah! Oh, 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 I'm so happy right now! <laughs> it's like a wish come true! They let me go around again, so we're gonna be able to see it again! Wow, this is too amazing! I, 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 actually, I actually teared up a little bit! <laughs> It's like the old days. You just go round and round and round. Here we go, round two. We're gonna see this beautiful view again, and it's gonna even be better because it's later on. The sun has set a little bit lower. Look at that. Monsters Incorporated. So drop in and join Mike Wazowski and all his pals at Monsters Incorporated Black Floor. Share the fun. That was so nice of the cast member to let us just go around again. Literally made my day. Just a little magic like that. It makes me feel like things are getting back to normal. Because I love the people mover and the sunset. I kind of just enjoyed it. I didn't film that much because it was just really relaxing and I had a lot of fun. But I was so thankful that I did. Now we're going to come out here and watch the rest of it from ground level. Look at that. <laughs> I feel like a kid in a candy shop. 
Look at that. Perfection, right? Wow, seriously, just being able to stand here and watch that is so beautiful. All the lights inside the hub is starting to turn on. Cinderella Castle, the lights inside the windows are starting to turn on. It is so beautiful. And the reflection off of the water is breathtaking. It's so hard to capture everything, but do you see what I'm talking about? The reflection in the water. It is so amazing out. I think I'm gonna head over to Adventureland. I haven't rode Pirates of the Caribbean for a while and I feel like that would be a nice ride to get on right now. By the time we come out, it'll probably be dark out. I wanna sit here and just soak up like this beautiful sunset that's happening. But at the same time, I wanna ride some rides. I wanna enjoy the Magic Kingdom. It's so nice to be able to be out here and it's not too hot. I think right now it's in the 80s, but it's like not like humid. Like the sun isn't powering down on you. I love it. <laughs> Oh, the hub definitely got busy though. Look at the line to get photos. I don't blame them though, because it's a really nice sunset happening. The funny thing is when I said I kind of felt like riding Pirates of the Caribbean, I was like kind of smelling it like in my head. Like I was like, wow, it would be great to smell Pirates of the Caribbean at the moment. <laughs> Isn't that a little strange? It seems like there's nobody over here. Look at this, wow. Honestly, I got tripped up by Seven Doors Mine Train, but everything we rode today has been basically a walk-on. And it's about to be Pirates of the Caribbean, too. I can tell it's a walk-on just by how there's nobody in, like, this general vicinity. Usually, this is a very crowded area. So, like, it's, it's pretty 100% sure that we're just going to walk right on to Pirates of the Caribbean at this moment. It says 30 minutes, but there's no way. I mean, <laughs> I'm putting the mask on. We're ready to go. 30 minutes. Here is the queue. <laughs> Look at all this. This is like a horrible maze, isn't it? Oh wow, we're actually bypassing all of it. Nice! We don't have to go through the separators. I can actually hear the pirates back there. That's so funny! <laughs> Oh, looks like we got row number one. Fancy.
was awesome to ride Pirates of the Caribbean. Now it is dark outside, and as soon as I got off Pirates, I ran over here because I wanted to get one more ride in, and the closest ride was the flying carpet. So we're gonna do a night ride on the flying carpets, which I don't think I've ever done. 8.59, it's closing time. We gotta find ourselves a magic carpet here. I think we're going on the far distance over here to the left. Oh, yep, there's one right there. <laughs> I'm not too sure if you guys remember the other day when I rode Triceratops Spin. This is the same concept. You actually control how far you want to go up and down from the front. And then on the back, it makes you lean back or lean front. So it's really awesome. It's two different ways you can ride. <laughs> All the way up. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at this! I love it! We're gonna go down and then we're gonna go back up. Woo! We're gonna do a little rocket even. <laughs> if you just do it real quick, it kind of bounces you. <laughs> Watch, we go down real quick and then back up and then down and it makes you bounce. <laughs> this is too much fun. Oh! <laughs> what? I forgot about the back lever too. So we can tilt ourselves already forward or tilt ourselves all the way back. Oh, we're going down now. Woo! <laughs> Look at that. Stop, then walk to the nearest end. Oh, come a little bumpy. <laughs> That was funny to run and get one last ride in on the flying carpets, but I'm happy I did. You know, it's so hard to say goodnight, you know? It's like you don't want the day to end. We came here kind of late, and I feel like we got so much accomplished. We rode the Haunted Mansion. We got food at Cosmic Rays. We rode the People Mover twice. We rode Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin, Pirates of the Caribbean, and the carpets all in, what, three hours? Not even three hours, two and a half hours. That's amazing. Like that is a successful day, I feel like. I feel like it has been probably months since I've been here at night. It's so beautiful seeing all the lights. Only because like the parks have been closing kind of early. So it's hard to get here and actually stay all the way tonight because the park closes and uh, the sun isn't even set like sometimes. So it's nice to see it all lit up. Right now it's nine o'clock and normally happily ever after would be happening. Wow, I miss that so much. I can't wait for it to come back. I probably will watch it every single, I bet you I'm gonna watch fireworks every night that I get reservations for, just so that I can like take it all in. Cause you, you know, you, you kind of take advantage of those situations and you don't know what you have until they're gone. So like coming to see fireworks in a nighttime show and being like, no, that's right. I'm gonna go do something else. I wish I could go back and watch as many fireworks as I could. The last time I was in Magic Kingdom before the parks closed and the fireworks ended, my last time seeing Happily Ever After, I was in the Crystal Palace and I was eating dinner. No big deal at all. I'm just like, oh, the fireworks are going on. I wish I would have known and paid more attention because that would have been the last time I seen the fireworks in like two years. And it probably would have been a little bit more memorable for me. But, you know, I guess you never know what's going to happen. Look at this. A nice lit up Main Street USA. Get to say goodbye. Nobody's wearing face mask. I'm telling you, soon. Soon, no more mask at all, and fireworks will be back, and the world will be looking up. Well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Just a random day here today, checking out the wait times, enjoying the park. So crazy that I got to ride the people mover back to back. It was so much fun and actually made me just like so happy. I honestly, I kind of got teary eyed because it was just like a sense of normal thing. Do you know what I mean? Anywho's, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.